fellow space engineers, Commander Kingfish here, and we are back for day two of our playthrough in the Industrial Overhaul. Today, I want to convert the uh, pod, the survival pod, into a basically a rover. And I got to thinking in between the days as uh, the commander took a rest uh, that maybe I built a little too much here since I'm going to be moving the base. So I'm not going to be worrying about adding more wind turbines. I'm going to work on the pod, get it ready to go, and see if we can't find a new base location down below. Now a couple of things I wanted to mention uh, from the last episode is I turned the survival pod over with leverage. Well, and the reason I used batteries is you get credit for the full weight of the battery even though it's not uh, completely uh, made uh, or welded up. So that, uh, that's why I could take and stick the blocks out and then start sticking those batteries on the end and just the weight would pull that over of the physics of the game. Just wanted to mention that. Uh, a couple of other things they did add in the uh, Oscrap mod and it is uh, so now everything I grind up will go to scrap. No more freebies. So the, with the Oscrap mod what happens is it grinds up. You get your resources back at a little bit less. So in other words, like if you grind up something that's made out of iron, I think you're getting about 80 or 85% of the iron ore back out of that scrap. So you don't get everything back. So that's why you have the survival kit in here. And if I was to grind that down, then I would be pretty much screwed because I wouldn't have enough silver to make the components. So that's what adds the challenge with all scrap. All right, so let's see what we can do here on the pod. So the first thing I need to do is start kind of doing a little bit of modification here. I hope I didn't put, I think I'm fine with that uh, right there. So we need to start taking these out and all right I think let's see that one this has to come out that has to come out that one out all right all right so let's see here what we want to do actually I better make sure I got some sort what do we got going here and let's see uh, I need to put uh, actually I think one of the things you can do with the survival kit is, uh, yeah, you can actually do scrap in here. So what we want to do is throw this over here and we can go over here and under here, uh, we had six of them. So we go one, two, three, four, six, and it will grind those back up and bring that back in. So let's uh, also go ahead and get Oh, uh, we got weather starting to come in a little bit. Lovely. I do have uh, a weather mod in. I have weather active. It's called uh, weather be friendlier, or basically a little nicer weather. It doesn't uh, overshadow, you know, these storms that would get in on the regular weather. Uh, it modifies it down, so it's a little more comfortable. You'll still get a little bit of stronger weather but uh, it uh, makes it just a little bit nicer so you get the weather effects 
but don't really have to contend with real nasty weather. Now something like this, when the fog sets in, it does make it a bit hard. So we won't be driving in, in this kind of weather. All right, so the first thing I think we want to do here is, see I ground that down. I'm going to need to take that chair out. Actually, this, this needs to come out. And then we can take the chair out. Oop, I better get in there. Did I put anything in here? I did. Let's grab this stuff out. Before we grind that down. Uh, I'm going to need a place to put that stuff. Let's just go up here and throw it on the ground where I normally throw all the stuff. And as I mentioned in the last episode, uh, this stuff does not disappear because I have trash turned off. That's why this stuff is all here. So we'll get uh, this out of the way. to the ice because it'll roll away actually I could probably drop it over here into kind of where I've got a little bit of indentation let's uh, drop that in there there we go all right now we can get back to grinding and throwing this stuff into scrap Okay, so that's that. Let's get this scrap going. Uh, oh, it can't do that. It can do that, 25. I put it in so I know exactly how much I've got in there because it doesn't show you there doesn't show you the count like it does in the inventory and you got to put it in exactly as what that is so five copper scraps uh, let's see let's do that there all right so 25 construction five five copper scraps ten basics Scraps, I said five. Uh, one electro and fifteen steel. There we go. That will all scrap out. Uh, all right, so we need to. Put, well, I need to put a gyro in here. And let's see. Where is that at? Right there. Alright, so I need steel plates and large computer. Let's go up here and get this stuff going into the works. Actually, I might have a steel plate here. Uh, I need, uh, and I know I have motors here someplace. Hopefully, it did not roll off, and that's a good possibility. This power kit. I have a sad feeling. Oh, I, I, maybe I put it in up, up here. So, I did. All right. Let's see if we can pull out. Uh, seven. 
Give us, I think it did. So that's using the build planner. All right. Can I just slap it right? Get it back. Make sure it's right there. Get that built. Okay, now the other thing we need to do is put a control seat in here, and let's uh, get that, control, that down, that should fit right. should fit right there. So let's see what we need to go get for this. Let's go. Okay, there we go. Let's, uh, all right, uh, 10 construction, 5 copper, 25 basic, so let's, let's get some, let's get, uh, maybe 20 of these going, uh, some basics and some copper wire. Was it? All right. Let's go and see if we can get this. Oh, probably need some steel with that as well. Let's get some steel going. All right. Let's go ahead and get this placed in there. All those are making up. That's going to be pretty good right there. All right, let's start getting our components in here. All right. Yeah. And let's see, while we're at it, we're going to need to remove these thrusters. Getting some steel for that. We'll remove this th thruster here. God, I worry. Well, no, you know what? We're going to leave that thruster right where it is. I don't want to take any chances on dropping my food processor out. Uh, we do need to remove this here. And we want to remove that one. Okay. Do I have any steel on me? No, but we can get all of that into getting that going for scrap. Uh, what's going on here? Alright. Let's cancel that out so that those will keep going. Uh, let's see. Let's go. That's the synthetics. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, two large tubes. 
and uh, 15. This portion done. I'll tell you what. Once I uh, once I get a little farther along, I will uh, catch back up with you. All right. I have uh, managed to get uh, the control seat done. Uh, the uh, assembly bench is producing stuff. I've been pulling stuff out of the survival kit, getting scrap stuff done. I've started to work on the legs. One of the things I'm going to need to add on here is uh, pistons. So I'm going to put pistons. I'm going to put four of them on there. And hopefully, then that will allow me to raise this up enough to get the wheels on. Now, I shouldn't have any problem on adding the wheels on this side. It's going to be the upper side of getting them on there. So these are the wheels that I'll be using. Since uh, the mod doesn't allow, these all require rubber uh, on the wheels. Uh, where are we at here? Uh, where's just the that's wheel suspension, wheel suspension, wheel one by, yeah, so like, on all the wheels here, you can see one by one, it's got rubber. Well, we don't have the ability to make rubber yet, but we do have these to be able to create the wheels or put wheels on it. And it's basically metal wheels is what it is. They're not the best, but they actually don't do too often bad either. So that's, we'll be using those. And I'll get a little farther along here and when I'm ready to kind of start well, I'll get this kind of somewhat welded up and you can kind of see where we're at with this once we come back. Okay, I have gotten some of this stuff done. Obviously, I got the control seat done. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Sorry about that. Never fails. Uh, I got this side of the buggy done, uh, the pod with the wheels. So I'm kind of at a major point here where I've got the pistons. I got that piston there. And I have this piston there. And what we're going to do is we're going to unlock the landing gear and we're going to reverse those pistons. I've got these wheels set on lock and so hopefully the idea is that it is going to lower the one side and raise the other side so that I can finish putting the wheels on. I need to put one more block on each side and then put the wheels on and then I think this will be ready to, to move and we can uh, at least move it up closer to where the workbench is and all of that uh, and then I can tether it up so that we can be charging the battery back up because we certainly don't want the battery to die in in this uh, machine it's our survival kit it's our uh, got our uh, medical bay it's the only place that we'll respawn back to so let's see what happens here uh, let's see if I could end up going and creating a huge disaster. So I'm going to hit, I've got my hot bar set up. Uh, we're going to lock the handbrake. I'm going to reverse the pistons and unlock that. And all right. That uh, seemed to go okay. All right, so these are down on the ground. Good, good. So we can finish, finish this side.
All right, I will be back in uh, once I get the uh, wheels on this side. We can uh, uh, kind of then we should be able to pull the buggy up there. And then what I will do is get it tethered up. I'll show you one of the other mods that uh, I have, which is great. I've used it in uh, uh, one of my other builds. So it's the, the tethers and, and power charging mod, and it really works great. So I'll be back in a little bit once I get the uh, wheels on this side. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I've got uh, this side done. Uh, I think I am ready to, well, as you can see, also, sun has come to this side of the valley. So I have the tires in place. We're, I've removed all of the landing gear, and we're ready to lower low. the pistons. And then hopefully we can do that and move up by the windmills and get this thing charging. All right, let's see how we do. Let's reverse this. We're not rolling away. Let's get out and take a look. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Since it's a little lower to the ground, I probably should have put one more block in between, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine. Let's uh, take the handbrake off. And we're moving. Alright, looking pretty good. Let's uh, get this up here. I think. Let's see which side's our battery on. That side, okay. park it and uh, we can turn our gyro off we don't need it sucking energy and actually I should have done that with the pistons but let's go in and turn the pistons off turn them off all right all right so the next step is to get this thing charging and so it's going to be one of the other mods that I have so what we want to do is build a charging station uh, let's see here G and that will be search under power and that's going to be these guys power line pillars and whatnot so we've got uh, We've got uh, power line pillars. We've got a charging station and we've got a power sockets. So we're gonna set up a charging station, which doesn't take much. Steel plate, uh, construction and a basic computer. The display you don't need at this point. Let's put that right there out of the way. We had enough stuff on us. So now the way this works, you take all your tools out of your hand, you go up here and you left click on it and you get a wire. And this wire you can run over here and when it turns green, uh, left click again and it's connected. So now we should be able to hop in here. Uh, this is actually connected to the base. And what I want to do now is take my battery. And put it on recharge. 
so it should be on auto right now it's down 70 percent if we put that on charge and it's going to start charging up perfect all right so we have a buggy that is functional and we have our battery charging up at the state from the station based on that so really the next step is to do a little scouting uh, see which way is the best way down the hill and see if we can find another base actually one more thing I wanted to mention now we have or or detector it's called or detector or uh, metal detector and one of the things that let's hop in here let me show you one of the things on these on the metal detector as part of the mod is it gives you a distance range a much larger distance range just because the ores are deeper uh, but they are farther apart so you don't you're not going to get a combination of iron and uh, silicon and, and uh, uh, well, actually, there is no magnesium. There's another ore that, that kind of takes its place. Uh, but nickel, they're not, you know how they'll sometimes be grouped up like in twos and threes. Well, now you're going to just get one large deposit of iron. And then you're going to have to go and hunt for silicon. Or you're going to have to go hunt for nickel. So with this, this gives you a larger range. So we can put that out like that. And the other thing I wanted to do is add it to the hot bar. Uh, where is my ore metal detector? Where'd you go? Where'd you go? There you are, ore detector. Uh, we want to turn that on and off so it's not using power. So it's off right now. Okay, I think what I want to do is do a little scouting and once I get done scouting I will uh, be back and we can kind of figure out uh, what our next steps are well again I know what the next steps are is scouting finding a path down out of here and then uh, being able to scout for ore figure out where we want to actually put our permanent base so I'll be back in a little bit with the good news okay I am back and I think I have a way to get down it's gonna be a little steep and I'm hoping that we won't have any problems getting back up to here but I think while we still have some daylight I want to get down into the valley and see if we can find some uh, ore deposits and see if we can scout out a good location for the base so with that let's hop in the buggy and uh, let's uh, drive off now we don't have to just get a disconnect after a certain uh, distance you get away you've got to be uh, uh, so close to it so let's uh, let's do this I think the best best way is to go this way and I need to turn my gyro on oh 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 I also need to turn my battery on yeah that's that's a bad thing let's uh, turn the gyro on okay there we go up and over the top right here and it might be a little a little steep we're just going to try to kind of work our way down along through this side uh, oh I suppose I should turn my metal detector on that would be helpful Another mod that I put in, you've probably all run into it, is those really jagged uh, holes and stuff in the terrain, especially when you get on the slopes. 
where the voxels have not uh, fully smoothed out. Uh, it's called uh, Voxel Smooth or something like that. It's uh, I've got the link down in my mod list in the uh, description. And uh, it takes out those jagged jagged spots that you run into. Without that, it virtually makes a rover useless unless you're just on the flats and something like, you know, down on the flats where you've got smooth terrain. Otherwise, you can't really run a, uh, a rover or any kind of buggy up and into the, the hills just because you run into those jagged edges. And so now we made it down here. Uh, we're doing pretty good on our power. Let's uh, let's see what we can find out here. Let's see if there is some some minerals. We'll just kind of run around out through here. I want to get out onto the flats. I'm thinking somewhere down here, oh, there's a silicon rock. I can mark that. This is how I like to do it. Uh, new current, and then I'll just call it Silicon rock. Good sign already. And hopefully, I'm thinking somewhere out here as we get towards the edge of these trees that a, might be a good place for a new base. Uh, so let's see what we can find out here. It's not bad running with a rover. I'll be making a uh, transport vehicle of some sort for the ore. Uh, hopefully, I see some jagged edges, but we can get through here without too much problem. Try to take it slow and easy. I don't want to damage this. We lose our survival kit, and then we're pretty well done. Another silicon rock. Go ahead and mark it. Again, these resources are few and far between. Uh, GPS, new current, silicon rock number two. There we go. or two of our power, so that's good. And hopefully, I'd like to find some mineral, some ore deposit. We are at least mobile now, so this is great. Boy, this 
this valley looked a little flatter than when you're looking up above. I was a little disappointed I didn't find any minerals yet. thinking somewhere on this flat will be a good place for a base. I always like to find at least iron that's close by so that I'm not having to, to mine just rocks and, or rocks and stone. And I like to find well I like to find iron uh, but I'm always looking for the more precious metals since I can always get iron and silicon and nickel and copper out of stone. I always have that resource available to me. But the other precious metals, you actually really need to find the ore deposits. Bumpy terrain here. Yeah, I kind of wished I would have raised that one more block up. I might end up doing that. Although, I'll probably end up building a separate explorer so that I'm not taking this out from base. because this is our lifeline right now. All right, we'll start making our way back. I'm kind of disappointed I didn't find something. Ice. We're going to find ice everywhere. That's one thing. Let's kind of head back up. We'll start making our way back towards the base. silicon rocks. Leastwise, our battery is holding up really well. We're at 90% uh, still, so we can do a lot of roaming around. Alright, well here's the test. Can we get back up to our temporary base. I think we can if we take it slow and easy. It seems to have enough enough power. Just got to be careful. Okay, let's uh, start making our way 
up. Not too bad. Not bad at all, actually. should have power to here. Yep, our survival kit is functioning. All right, well, that's what I wanted to accomplish in day two. We got our uh, buggy going, and so we can explore. So I might end up doing a little uh, exploring, running around, looking for a good site for a base uh, before our next episode just to try to so that you're not bored with this me driving around and yeah we got the base here or the temp base anyway this is all going to come down at some point but we at least have the ability to make resources look around for ores and start moving forward so uh, I think with that, we're going to call it a day. And let's see what day three holds for the commander. And uh, can we survive? Find our resources? Yeah, I don't know how far we went. I don't know if we actually went all the way over. We might have gone all the way out to where it starts dropping off. So I was a little surprised. But I'll, I'll run around and do some more uh, ore hunting and that sort of thing. All right. Well, that's about it for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. And please subscribe uh, if this is your first time viewing. I really appreciate uh, you folks. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care, space engineers. <laughs>